dividing rational numbers. It is similar to multiplying uh, rational numbers in the fact that if you have two factors, the, the signs are the same, the answer is positive. So a positive divided by a positive is positive, and a negative divided by negative is also positive. If they are different, your answer is negative. So a negative divided by a positive or a positive divided by negative, those are both going to give you negative quotients. So to divide by a fraction, we multiply by its reciprocal. Now the reciprocal in simpler forms is flipping your numerator and your denominator. That is the easiest way to describe what a reciprocal is. So if I had the fraction three fourths, its reciprocal would be four thirds. If I had a fraction like one third, its reciprocal is three over one. Now, what happens if I have a whole number? Say the number seven, what is its reciprocal? So the number seven can also be written as seven over one, it's an improper fraction. So its reciprocal is one seven. So the reciprocal of seven is one seven. If by chance you had a negative, what is the reciprocal of negative seven? That's the same as negative seven over one. This would be the same, we have to keep the negative sign, negative one seven. So those are reciprocals. Let's look at a couple examples. So here we have 7 fifteenths divided by 4 fifths. To divide by a fraction, we first multiply by its reciprocal. So we keep the 7 fifteenths, keep your first number. So instead of dividing by 4 fifths, we multiply by its reciprocal 5 fourths. Now we can just multiply straight across, or first we could check to see if there are any common factors between the numerator and the denominator. So I notice I have a 5 here and a 15 here. Those have a common factor of 5. So I can divide those out. If I divide each by 5, I get a 1 here, and I get a 3 here. Now I don't have any more common factors, so I can multiply straight across. 7 times 1 is 7. 3 times 4 is 12. So now I have to make sure that my signs are correct. I have a positive and a positive, so therefore that is also a positive. So your answer is seven twelfths. Here I have a mixed number divided by a whole number. Lots of stuff to do. So the first thing I want to do is change this mixed number to an improper fraction. Five and a third, we take the denominator, multiply it by the whole number. So three times five, and then add the numerator one, which, so three times five is 15 plus one is 16. And then we keep it over the denominator. So 16 thirds. I'm just gonna rewrite that as a divided. Negative seven, we are going to change into a fraction. And that would be negative seven over one. So anytime you have a whole number to convert it to a fraction, we put it over the denominator one. Now our rule is to divide by a fraction, we multiply by its reciprocal. So we keep the first number the same, but now we are going to multiply it by this reciprocal. So the reciprocal of negative seven over one is negative one sevenths. So we flip it, okay? So whenever we have a fraction and a negative sign, I like to keep it in the numerator, the negative sign. You could put it in the denominator if you wish, you are going to get the same answer. So now we can start to look at, do we have any common factors? Well, we have 16, which is two times two times two times two. And we have three and seven denominator. Nothing is common. So we multiply straight across. So 16 times a negative one is negative 16. Three times seven is 21. So indeed we have a positive times a negative, which is a negative. So our answer is 16 21st. And that is how you multiply or make divide by fractions.